Well, the striking aspect of, of lung function um, in Marfan syndrome is that it's so varied and it involves multiple different organ systems. And the way that I typically think about it is that um, the, the mutant gene in Marfan syndrome, fibrillin 1, is expressed in lots and lots of different tissues. And many of the cell types that it's expressed in are in the lung. And so the result of that is that you get abnormalities in kind of the skeletal muscle system, which involves the thoracic cage, in the muscles, which also involve the thoracic cage, and actually within the lung proper, which obviously is within the thoracic cage. And so all of those systems actually can be affected in Marfan syndrome. Okay, the lung tissue itself, some of this information we've garnered from the animal models that I worked on with Hal Dietz at Johns Hopkins. And one thing we found was that the fibrillin protein, which is the, um, the protein that is made by the mutant gene in Marfan syndrome, is actually critical for the normal formation of the air spaces in the lungs. And as most people know, the air spaces are the sites where oxygen moves from the lung into the bloodstream. And we found that these were not formed properly in mice that had the mutation in Marfan syndrome that we see in patients. And so the sequela of this is that you have underformed or what we consider immature lungs that are unable to function properly and might not deliver the requisite amount of oxygen to the tissues.